Coming to the pathologies now, that is congenital anomalies of the kidney. First and the most frequently asked in the exam, horseshoe kidney. Now, horseshoe kidney means one pole of the kidney is fused, like the right and left is fused at one pole. Either upper pole or either lower pole, it is fused like this. Look at the normal kidney, they are separate, they are not joined in the midline. Well, look at these kidneys which are joined in the midline like this. This is called as horseshoe kidney, a very frequently asked image in the exam. So, this is a horseshoe kidney. Remember, the inferior mesenteric artery is not allowing the ascent of the kidney here. And horseshoe kidney is associated with what syndrome? It is associated with Turner syndrome. Okay, it is associated with Turner's. Going to the next one, this is another image again showing you this horseshoe kidney here on the coronal CT scan. Right, this is another horseshoe. And what do you see on IVP in the horseshoe? One kidney joining the other kidney. This is like joining hands or handshake or flower vase appearance. So, what do you see on IVP is the two kidneys are coming towards the midline and joining together. This is called as flower vase appearance or joining hands handshake appearance. What investigation is this? This is MRI because you don't see the white bones. And look at the two kidneys fused together on MRI. This is horseshoe kidney. And again on this is on IVP. This is the horseshoe kidney. Going to pancake kidney. How is pancake kidney different from horseshoe? In pancake kidney, both of the poles, the entire kidneys are fused together throughout. It's not just one pole fused together. So, this is how a pancake kidney looks like. So, look at this pancake kidney which is joined together. It is located in the pelvis. It's a low-lying uh, kidney. So, it is located in the pelvis and the two kidneys are joined at both the poles. That is what is called as pancake kidney. So, look at the difference between the horseshoe fused at one pole. These poles are not fused. While in a pancake, they are fused at both the poles. Going to the next congenital anomaly that is crossed fused ectopia. So, one kidney is here, one renal moiety is here. The second renal moiety has crossed to the opposite side, fused with this kidney. But you will see that the ureter is draining on the original side itself. That is what is called as cross fused ectopia. So, you see one kidney ureter here. You see another kidney renal moiety also on this side. And but the ureter is draining on the left side, right? It is not draining on the right side. That is why this is not duplication. In duplication, they will drain on the same side. So, this is crossed fused ectopia, okay? The ureter will drain on the opposite side. So, look at this one, the two renal moieties and the two ureters going on right and left. So, this is cross fused ectopia. The second ureter will cross over to the opposite side. There are various types, like you can see, this is the inferior pate, they are fused, they can be fused at the superior pole, so inferior ectopia, superior ectopia, or it can be L-shaped, right, so there are various types of cross-fused ectopia. Duplication or duplex moiety, how is it different is, you see one kidney here on the right side, the one renal moiety on the right side, that's what you are seeing here, so this is normal. On the left side, there is one renal moiety with its ureter. And there is another renal moiety with the ureter on the left side. So, there are two uh, moieties here on the left side. That is why this is duplication or duplex moiety. So, when there is complete duplication, what appearance you see here is, this is called as drooping lily appearance. Okay, you see this drooping lily appearance. Why do you get the drooping lily appearance in the complete uh, duplication is, so if this is the lower moiety, this is the upper moiety. Now, what happens is the upper moiety is generally obstructed and hydronephrotic non-functioning, right? So, it presses on the lower moiety and that is why the lower moiety gets drooped down by the pressure from the upper moiety. So, the upper pole moiety is non-functioning and presses the lower moiety and that is why you get the drooping lily appearance. So, the drooping lily that you are seeing is actually the lower moiety. Now, when there is complete duplication, you have a rule which is followed here for the ureteric insertion which is called as wigert mayer rule. Now, what is the wigert mayer rule? So, the wigert mayer rule tells that when there is this complete duplication, right? You can see this one ureter and second ureter here. So, the lower moiety ureter inserts normally. That is orthotopic insertion. So, this is the orthotopic insertion that you are seeing. While the upper pole goes down, and medially, ectopic insertion of the upper pole ureter. 
So look at this one. This is ectopic insertion inferomedial to the other ureter. So which is the orthotopic? The lower one. The upper one goes inferomedial. Which one has ureteroceal and which one has VUR more common? Remember ureteroceal U for U is common in the upper pole. Lower VER is like VUR, WER, VUR. Lower has the VUR which is more common. So upper will have ureteroceal common and lower will have VUR more common.